consider a felony looking for a place to happen. You know we're live. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> no. <laughs> I do now. <laughs> we're a felony <laughs> waiting to happen. Cool beans. <laughs> looking for a place to happen. Oh, okay. Looking for a place. Okay, that works too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, hey, guess what? what? You know where we are? We're at the yeah, dork we're table. At the dork table. <laughs> All you cool kids can get the fuck out now. <laughs> I have spoken. You have spoken. Are Alrighty. We at the, are are we at the dork table, Miss Mary? Yes, we are, Mister Flasher. Excellent. Excellent. Would you like to do the thing and say the stuff to the those whatevers? Oh, do the thing name, and say the name. stuff. Yeah, the names on the screen in that. Oh, okay. Well, over here on that Freedoms Network, we have Grimner who is posting have things like insight. crazy. I know, and Bob Renner is here, and so am I. Bob Renner. And this is a day after R. <laughs> I know the Pastafarians; they rock. I know they do. We're just so cool. Um, and you know what? I'm thinking he's. <laughs> you're getting stereo and delay, aren't you? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's why. See, that's that, why Cirque does that in another room because ah. she can't keep up with the delay and then hearing me laughing. <laughs> so, Mary's got company. Trying to listen to the show. I know, I know. Okay. It's all good though. Uh, corner well, pocket. I don't see. Oh, hey, you know what? I joined the corner pocket and I forgot to do my thing. Uh oh, your duck thing. I got a duck! Wow, in sixteen thousand seconds, I got a duck. Right. Dang. Well, okay. No one else is over here. Fascinating. I know. Okay. Aren't you just thrilled beyond belief? Yeah. I, we must be losing our audience by the dozen. <laughs> Summertime, um, they go. Fuck this! I'm gonna go outside and have a beer. <laughs> well, it's entirely too wet out here to do that shit. So. Oh. Um, Oh, and it's Lizzie Fisher's birthday today. Hi, Lizzie. Happy birthday. Ask him if my brother says he can't hear us. My brother's listening in today on the um, Skype thing, and he says he can't hear the show. Uh, I don't. Well, everybody else, it looks like, is listening in. Okay, then he's if then he can't hear me, so I don't know how to help him. But bummer. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, I'm just doing my thing here. You know? He needs to stop trying to listen in on the Skype thing and listen in on the radio thing. That's what I mean. Ah, yeah, open the radio. Okay. Uh, all right, I'll just type that to him while you do your inner hellos and shit. Ah, okay. Um, let's see. Oh, where was I? Okay, fakey book. There's really nobody there. I mean, they're they're talking amongst themselves, and that's fine. They can do that. I yes. will let them. Well, they'll, they're they going to do it whether I let them or not. So, okay, over it's here in the RLM, which is where you need to be, which, by the way, yeah, we are on rlmradio.xyz. And, yes, Moosey, Kansas is rainy, rainy, rainy. We had rain and hail, and I have another tree branch down. And, yeah, three times oh. last night. It's like, holy shit, I'm getting tired of this. I'm very, very soggy. I have ponds in my yard. But in any case, in the RLM chat, Barman uh, is right RLM. up top. Chat. Yeah. Barman. Barman. So what did Barman kick the shit out of Asmo or what? Um, I'm thinking that Asmo no longer is green. You green? You uh, green? Uh, so I get it. Yeah, okay. but in any case, Barman is right up top, and he is the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world. And then we have Grimner, who is the RLM Grim god. Nerd. I know he's, but he's not Grim nerd. He's just Grimner, because well, you know no, that's he, that's enough. We're, we're, we're upgrading him. Oh, you are. Oh, okay. Well, that's an upgrade, Grim. Grim. Nerd. I yeah. also see the lovely Moose Girl is here, and Moosey has been fired up. Moose. Thank you, Rob, for firing up the bubbler, by the way. But did you light that off of Moosey? Because, man, she's fired up this morning. Oh, good. I know. I know. Yeah. I also see the lovely ah. Kate is here. And I don't know how Kate. damp they are down there because mm. it's wet here. Yeah, but Texas is pretty big. Yeah. They're bound to find... You know, Texas is like a girl. You're going to run into a dry spot somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and, 
And when you do, just remember what that spot is for. <laughs> Fix it immediately. <laughs> Don't let this fall into the hands of the enemy. <laughs> okay. That okay. was a dork announcement. Thank you. Yes. Public service announcement by Flash Dork. Um, I also, did I say, yeah, I said Kate. Hey, Asmo, how you doing, hon? Asmo! I also see Beetle. And Beetle. the lovely Beth Z is here. Hi, Beth. Beth Z. And Chalcedoni, who's got the O oh, yeah. going on. And Circle Dork, we have a Circle Dork, Circle Dork, Circle Dork. Ooh, that sounds really perverse and fun. Hello, honey, and thank you for the coffee. Oh, he says that Asmo is never around, so no need for oh. him to be an op. Oh, ah, okay. there you go. See, Asmo got demoted. No, I saw him on the um, playing trivia with us one day. Man, wow. I, I know he's for a sharp. Being cookie. around, that boy, talk about knowing a lot of shit that doesn't matter. Whoa. Ah, oh, but it that's mattered enough to be kicking ass in the trivia, didn't it? Oh uh, yeah, well that's why I can say that because I lost. <laughs> 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 there is no, there is no shame in losing. You're, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. As as it wasn't me. <laughs> oh, there you go. I also see we got a double dip and a Chloe going on. Chloe, Chloe. I know she's just an echo. You hoo. And looky there. Hey, there's a dorky Grams in the room. Huh. Grams. Oh. I know. I'm wearing my flannel house coat today. Hey. I know. <laughs> you sport it like a... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, guys. Don't worry. Be glad you got just chat this time. <laughs> yeah, really. Seriously. Um. The house coat thing is... Re wow. <laughs> I also see Flash Dork is right behind me making fun of my house coat. Damn it all. Some bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've heard you got to watch out for him. He's sarcastic. Oh, yes, he is. I've heard about that. I also see and Frumpy is in the house. Do you know Frumpy? Frumpy! I'm dressed Frumpy today. That's the whole house coat motif. Frumpy. Um. Uh? I be Don C is here as well. Hey, Don. C. Yes. And Java, 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 Java. And JJ's is in the house, and he's going to be on later Jay on today with some James. tunage. I think after Kira on the bridge. Oh, I think. Okay. I That's also awesome. see P Bunyan is in the house. Tim Burr. And Rob works. Yay! Rob's fired Bob up the bobbler. Free the weed and fire it up. Woohoo! Um, Woodman is here. Hey, Woody, how you doing, hon? And Phantom. Oh, and Phantom and Flash just, yeah. Flash just took off his headphones. He's leaving me alone and abandoned. I also see BTC Bob as well as Dima. And hey, we got a Flash droid in here, too. Yeah, well, I get around. Oh, I see how I'm you are. I'm versatile like that, you uh, know. Oh, okay. And looky there. Jehovah One is in the house. Hey, Jehovah, you could stop with the waterworks. Ain't time now. Just say. Oh, yeah. Free. Uh, I also see Juana Taco is here. Juana hey. Taco. Had tacos for supper last night. And Kozu is in the house. Hey, Kozu. Nah. As well oh. as Mmm-Bot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, and Nensen Dubois is here. Hey there. Um, oh, free the weed. I, I prefer free the weed to fuck the world because I don't want to do that because, you know, I do have... Uh, standards and there's just some people I just won't do. Uh, <laughs> okay, but on pom pom. Nensen Dubois is in the house. Yeah, get those facial muscles going, as well as North Force and Pon Pom Pon Pom Pon Sauce. North Force. What? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? 
Uh, Rain is here. Hey there, Rain. And it's not doing that outside. So, hey, thank you, Rain, for not doing that outside. I truly appreciate it. Uh, Stats Bob and Tip Bob. See, that's the last two of the Bob triplets. And look, there's a torque testicle. And, man, every time I read that, I don't have those things, but they hurt anyway because it's like, ow, ow. Who got your nuts in a ringer? <laughs> uh, I know, I know you had insight that I would have that would be happy to share his with you. But you have to ask him nicely because he, he likes order and politeness. Order and politeness? I've tried direct with God. He just... You, you're doing some hinky dinky sounding shit, dude. What the hell? Yeah, well, I was born under a dark star. Are you? We just have to deal with it like every week on the tour table. Did you? Wow. You no. Know? Did you mess with your headphone or something? Because some. Wow. Because I don't have any funky, like little. No, I. I've got Cirque and my both teeth feel like this. So it's. I don't know. It's probably distorting my natural cheese. Oh, well, your natural cheese is getting really distorted. But, hey, it's kind okay. of interesting. I'll sit, really, I'll sit really still and stop whipping the mice. And we'll try to see if that will work better. Oh, okay. You know, I got, I got mice to power the energy source for my computer. Ah, oh, cool. Cool beans. Trying to get off the grid. I tell you, mice are hungry, too, man. <laughs> but, you know, five of them together can beat up one cat. You, you should see it. It's phenomenal. Ah. Anyway. anyway. So where are we on the hellos and goodbyes? Uh, kind of we're at up. trust no one or trust number one. I think it's trust, trust no one. Trust number one. Ah, there you go. And to round out the crew, the one, the only, the Vil E underscore. <clears throat> oh, oh. Vil E underscore. <laughs> Grammy's wanting to know if you're, if you're running an auto-tune app there, Flashier. I don't know. I hope not, because I didn't mean to. <laughs> 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 Which fucking button is that, Grim? <laughs> Jeez, I didn't even click anything, and I got shit happening here. Maybe okay. I did it with my superior mind. Oh, hey, that could be. You're just <laughs> vibing like crazy. Oh, yeah. I'm, e I'm emoting a vibration. Like yes. Like Charlie Manson, only better. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> All righty. So, so, here we are on this 27th day of May, 2017, right? Uh-huh. And a strange thing happened to me on the way Thursday, on the Jesus Day. Uh-huh. Thursday. The whole country gets the fucking day off. Right here in Denmark, they're very, you know, they're very into that religious holidays. We don't got to work. We love Jesus. So, oh. <laughs> yeah, but I like, see, I've got a problem. I like fresh milk every morning for my coffee. Uh -huh. And that requires me to get off my lazy ass and go get the fucking milk. Ah. All right. Ah. So here I am with. I'm going to get my milk, and she says, well, will you get this, 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 this? So now i got ten things to find, and it's a holiday, so there's only one grocery store and a kiosk open. Ah. So the forces were with me. I find all the shit she wants me to get at the one store, but they didn't have the cigarettes I wanted. So I had to go to the kiosk. Ah. <laughs> and this is, this is what the point of the whole story really is, right? I'm walking. It's a... Uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred yard walk from the corner to the, to the building and towards the building are some guys sitting there having some beers in the middle of the day, you know, uh -huh. the older guys, uh -huh. and one of them's in one of those fast wheelie bin cars and the other one's sitting on the bench. And as I'm walking, they're calling me over and they realize I'm going to the store. They say, ah, after your store, come here. So I go over to see what they want after uh -huh. I'm done at the store. And this is what the guy says to me in his, his best broken English, and it was hysterical. He said, me and my friend were sitting here, and we're looking up at the sky on this day of Jesus and thinking, oh, everything is so good. And then we looked over there, and there Jesus came. <laughs> 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 you know, 
because I got my hair and my beard going on, and you know, and I'm, I I was wearing shoes, but I wasn't barefoot or anything. But it, they said, and just when we're making the joke about it, there you come around right down the street. And it was just funny. Well, You're you not know, insulted are you? <laughs> no, I thought it was funny as hell too. Um, but I don't know if I told it right. You know, if you were Jesus, you would think that Jesus raised the dead and cured the lame. You'd think he'd be able to fix your vision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right. it, it, it's not that I think anything of it. It was that they were mocking the holiday. I know. And, the, and at the, just the time that they're doing it, there I come walking down the street, and they said it was the funniest thing they've <laughs> seen all day. <laughs> so, uh, so here I am, all right? The, the American in Denmark that w- does not want to learn how to speak Danish for nothing, and and I still get accepted no matter what happens. Mm-hmm. You know, even when they're punking me, I just think it's funny, and they go, "Ah, oh, okay, you're not an idiot. You're not going to get mad over a joke. Then you're cool." Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. So I'm going to stand on communication. Little Missy is not the answer; it's the problem. Okay, yeah. Grim says you're running an auto tune app there. What the hell does that mean? No, he's wanting Ask to know if you are running. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, will you tell me what Mr. Grimner is talking about because I ain't got a clue. <laughs> I'm not in the production end of this shit. I'm in the creative end of this shit. And yeah, I you're creating all, shit. <laughs> and I depend, thank you. I depend on all my minions to, you know, keep me alive, so to speak. Ah. I'm, pr- I'm practicing for the afterlife. <laughs> oh. For that life afterlife. All righty. Oh, but I heard you going insane on your show last night. Yes, Little I was. Missy. Massages that make you cry and shit. What the? What the <laughs> hell kind of private life do you have? And why do you keep telling me about it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I keep telling you about it because, well, you know, there might be one person out there that goes, hey, that sounds interesting. Might, I might go try it. And if it makes their life better, fine. And if it makes them go, damn, she really is a fucking whack job, then fine. Yeah. So no, I, no, I understand that side of it. But, you know, the fear of the first time is the fear of the first time. I know. You get your cherry popped and it's like, I'm really afraid this is going to hurt. <laughs> and it, it's not always even hurt. It's sometimes like me. In my case, it's not about pain. It's about, wait a minute, I got to get up out where I'm at and come over there to do something. No, I'm far too lazy for that. Why don't you bring the moon to me and then we'll talk. You know? Oh, hey, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Well. Oh, I've got a new fan on the uh, RL and M torqued testicle. Says that I'm just running my mouth. Well, what an intellectual you are, sir. This is a fucking radio program. What did you want me to run? Well, I'm just... (laughs) No, you got it a little backwards because your nose is supposed to run. And it is, too. Oh, cool. so cute. Yeah, humidity's got me climbing up and down stairs. Oh. So So you climb up and down stairs with your dewy nose? And other parts. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we travel as a group. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, and God in his infinite wisdom was he was brilliant in the design because uh you know, as long as well, I stand up straight, I don't seem to fall forward anymore. <laughs> hey there you go. <laughs> That's a balance joke. Zoom. Anyway, so what's uh, what's new and interesting in your uh, peripheral vision there, little missy? Um, I, I I don't know. I'm just laughing about circle going the only when the uh, only thing that's running is her mouth or is his mouth. I call it a good day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow! See the control you have when you make all the fucking food. Wow. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, if you weren't my wife, little Missy, I'd I'd ignore you. (laughs) That's what I do. Yeah. You know what? You know what I do when somebody just is beyond recognition? What's that? I get my eraser and I take them out. Ooh. Of my reality. 
Yeah, I got a big eraser in my reality, and it just erases all your shit, and you're not there anymore. You know, my mother does that, too. When someone really, really pisses her off, she just says, you no yes. longer exist to me, and she truly yeah. does totally ignore yeah. them. That will get to a person after a while, too. Whoa. Yeah. yeah I've had it done to me, and I'll tell you, slap me or something. This is bad. Don't do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be stupid. Do something. Don't just sit there. <laughs> You and know, my you mom like, is so good at it that she ignored one of my sister-in-laws for like 10 years. And uh, I'll tell you what, taking one for the team, that woman was so yeah. good at ignoring her that really? even when she let one go and it cleared the room, mom sat there <laughs> like nothing had happened. <laughs> and so we thought either her sinuses are clogged up or she really is good at ignoring. <laughs> yeah. No, that, that takes, it takes follow-up. <laughs> yes, it does. It, cause it, like war, it has three stages, and one of them is follow-up and performance. You know, you can't, just telling people you're going to come kick their ass doesn't really do shit. You know, what really works is when you get on the fucking plane, and you fly to Copenhagen, and you get off the plane at Copenhagen, and you jump on the train to Frederiksvark, and you get off the train at Frederiksvark, and then you go, hey, where's that flash guy? That's how it works. Oh. But all this chitter chatter on the internet, crying out. Like Torque Testicle, he's trying to get me all riled up, so I'll get mad at him and call him names. Hey, did you, did, are you a TV fan of the old shows at all? Oh, I love, like, the old Gilligan's Island and. and yeah. uh, what was that show? What was the show where the guy had Larry and his brother Daryl and his other brother Daryl? Oh, Bob that was Newhart. the Bob Newhart show, yeah. Man. Oh, I, I'd sure like to live in, in New Hampshire at that hotel, let me tell you. I know. Wouldn't that be cool? Well, mm, yeah. You have two brothers with the same name. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Oh, uh -oh. hey, uh -oh. he's going to fly to Denmark. I'll tell you, whoever whoever's at the train first has to buy the first beer. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I, can't, I can't actually have a fight without a beer in me now. It's, it's a rule. Oh. Okay. Yep. But come on down and we'll talk. You're How the next I, contestant on Flash is Right. Just ask him. He'll tell you. I, no, well, no, that's a misconception. Oh, okay. See, I, I'm right for me, but I know that the course of life that I've taken, other people couldn't handle it. The, uh, the insecurity times and the down times would outweigh their common sense and they'd panic and, and run back to where they started i just keep going forward i don't care ah well yeah it's always it's always greener over the septic tank yes it is see? that's why when you see that green you go hey wait a minute this might not be as good as i thought and you slow down a little bit and you walk and you look but i don't i still run with my eyes closed and a pair of scissors in each hand <laughs> Yes, you do. Just, just <laughs> to see what the hell is going to happen. <laughs> Someone will probably jump out in front of you and go, don't you know not to run with scissors? And you'll stab them because <laughs> you got your eyes closed. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, I've been, I've been pretty lucky in the, in the violence department for the last, I don't know, 30 years, 25, something like that. 25, 30 years. Well, good. Found no reason to, to entertain anything more than the mouth, you know? Because talking is just, talking is as rude as slapping somebody in the face, I think. Oh, yeah. Can be. You can can be. make your mark. and Yeah, without even leaving the privy of your own boudoir. I know. <laughs> type a couple of buttons on this black box thing and people go insane. Yeah. You know what? I had some guy on the RLM call me about a week or two back. You're going you're gonna to laugh at this one. You ready? Ready. He, he called me a fag. Really? Yeah. Now, the the logic behind the insult in 2017 doesn't even make sense to me anymore. Because now that all the fruity tooties got rights like the rest of the slaves, and they're recognized as a force, how can calling somebody one of them be an insult? They got more power than the straight guy now. It's insulting. That part's insulting. Not being called a winner is. Being called not a winner is. Oh, see, and I took it another way because over in the UK they call ciggies fags, and so I thought maybe they were telling you you were hot and they were hot for you. Oh, that! Oh, my <laughs> wife would not like that. 
<laughs> no, my wife would definitely. She would. That would be bad news to my wife. So we will not do that. <laughs> Especially since it was a guy calling you that. It do, it wouldn't matter. Guy, girl. No, she's she's kind of mm, that. See, I got the ink and everything. So yeah, mm. yeah. She marked she, her territory. Yeah, she pissed all over me, big time. <laughs> but then I pissed all over the right back. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's see, right. That just goes to show that sometimes life might be a pisser, but it's not all bad. <laughs> well, yeah, but it, it brings me to this thought about, you ever, ever um, when you're out in public, judge other couples and go, wow, I wonder how the fuck those two idiots ever got together. <laughs> you know, a lot of times I see... <laughs> with me when i see situations like that i go well at least they're keeping two other people from being miserable wow so <laughs> yeah. but when they reproduce it's bad for all of us oh well yeah that is true and the bankers weep but never mind never mind never mm. mind no well i'm still stuck on your um on your shows lately because You've been getting rather sexual on your radio program. Moi? Yeah, talking about, you know, the big sticky insect. <laughs> the yogurt shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow. I've never been accused of that, but if I ever do, I don't know if it'll be a good or a bad thing now, because I don't care for yogurt. You know, now I know why I don't like yogurt. <laughs> All the girls are going, hey, I know what that is. It's yogurt. <laughs> Dairy products are good for you. <laughs> Excellent for your skin and hair. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasant tasting liquid formula. Easy. They help, they help your intestinal tract immensely. <laughs> don't try this without a supervision. Because, yeah, if you try it by yourself, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> you will need a partner. <laughs> She's calling you sick. Wow. I know. I'm I know. Starting trouble with the girls now. Oh, I feel so special. But, you know, just like my boobs theory, though, you know, mm -hmm. there's just some, some things in life that to me are just so obvious. Like, you can't fight with somebody if your face are filled with boobs. That's true. That's true. Oh, I, I, I don't get any, anybody telling me I'm wrong. <laughs> but I still can't get anybody to make a video to show me that I'm right. <laughs> Cirque won't do it. <laughs> go, wow, you got boobs. That'll work. <laughs> no. <laughs> what, are Mexican you yogurt. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> See what you did, Mary. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. What would that like with salsa or something? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, are we talking back. the dance or are we talking the, the tomato we think? Because that just really sounds gross. The tomato we think. I'm not. It's guacamole, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's whack a mole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Now we're going to delve into the box of dirty jokes and see what we. So. Has, has my has my boring life in Denmark impressed you yet? Yes, I am extremely impressed. <laughs> What's the last time you walked down the street and anybody made a Jesus joke about you? <laughs> um, I haven't had anybody make a Jesus joke about me yet. I've had several people tell me, you know, you really do look like Maxine. <laughs> Maxine. <laughs> Especially when I'm sporting the... The flannel house coat and shit. Oh yeah, I and I must admit, it's it's almost enough to get the camera turned off. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But I'm brave. I'll take one for the team this week, guys. <laughs> don't don't worry. I got your backs. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, my wife is insulting my pupils. <laughs> the shit Americans call culture. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> She's being yogurt. very punny. Yeah, she's talking about yogurt. <laughs> that's what American culture is. <laughs> yeah. Yogurt in 27 flavors, and three of them are actually natural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
See, oh. You're not talking about your, your bowl flavored uh, yogurt. <laughs> man. Or your chicken. <laughs> and I just realized I buy Greek yogurt. Oh my God. I have a whole new mental image now of Greek yogurt. <laughs> think you've got a whole new image you ought to be me <laughs> wow. i think i just lost iq points trying to figure that one out hey you know with all this pending trouble with iran you know what what if the greeks decided to, to join us in our fight against totalitarianist regimes and they invaded iraq too would they invade from the rear <laughs> Uh, all these military questions just compound in my head, and I don't know what to tell you. So, are you for it or are you in it? That's uh, what we ought to know. I'm a are you with us? I'm you're a gin it. it. Uh, you're a you're a domestic terrorist. Yes, I am. Yeah. Uh, so, how's that Facebook crowd treating you with that? Are they still like giving you shit? Uh no, not really. I I haven't. I've been kind of loitering on there because, um, you know, <laughs> family issues, and so, yeah, and so that's yeah. where I find out. Because we got a lot yeah. of we got a lot going on in the family right now, so yeah, that's how I stay I, up aware. to date with that. Um, yeah. But other than that, I'm just really not on there. You know, to it's kind of wild and kind of weird. Really? Well, yeah. what do you do when you're there besides talk to your family? Do you play those little... Uh, you know what I do? I play games on the internet. Little girly games, you know, like uh, Gummy Drops or some Yeah, I game. play Gummy Drop. <laughs> and, yeah. So, and, and I'll tell you one thing. It doesn't make you feel real manly when you do it. <laughs> well, I really yeah. wasn't going for the whole feeling like manly kind of vibe well, so yeah, I, I was because you know i don't do all that killer diller game stuff the other guys do you know yep. they're shooting up and i do all that it doesn't interest me <laughs> so i found something that stimulated my mind and it happened to be built for a 10 year old girl and it made me feel kind of weird when i tell <laughs> hey sir i'm gonna be on the computer playing gummy gummy what gummy drop <laughs> it's like oh who the fuck are you and where did where did he go <laughs> <laughs> you're channeling your inner 10 year old girl <laughs> That just sounded wrong too. Almost as wrong as Greek, as uh, Circle saying that Greek yogurt sounds hairy. <laughs> well, it does. That's just, that's just wrong. This is one Dane's opinion, though. Yeah, Garcon, there's well, a Greek in my yogurt. You. Oh my. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think we need to pursue this any further. We have found the end of the internet. Thank you for coming. See you all next week. <laughs> wow. Just what you thought you you know, said every stupid thing you can think of. Somebody comes along and proves that you're wrong. <laughs> then my only regret is it wasn't Hans. You know, I I I think I've I think I've I've made Hans feel un uncomfortable and he does not join us at the dork table anymore. Aw. That's too bad. You know why? Why? Well, Hans represents everything in the world I am against and doesn't he thinks maybe I don't know. People might think it's personal. I just think he's delusional and you know should get off his Henry Kissinger pipe and join the rest of us. But Ooh. To H each his own. Henry Kissinger, that man, I don't think that man, he's never been appealing visually. And then, but, you know, when he opens his mouth, it's like, eh. I, I beg to argue with you on that particular <laughs> time because, as you all know, I'm, I'm a man of peace. Yeah, yeah. And stuff. Yes. <laughs> and I mean, stuff. Well, uh, see, and then this is the part where it goes to that um, research and all that shit I think is a bunch of crap to do any fucking way, but I did it. Be and the answers that I find, s for some reason, I don't know how to explain this to you, little girl. They're not the same answers that the status mind seems to find. Why is that? I don't know. Because you're unusual. Yeah, but I think Kissinger pretended to go to the Middle East and broker a deal to save people when what he was really doing was going in there to stir up the shit and sell weapons. 
Well, yeah, so he was brokering a deal, all right. But yeah. They told the public he's to stabilize the Middle East, and the real truth, what he was in there for, was to fuck it up and to fight them so they could never get back together again. Well, yeah. That, but that's just for us to see. I think the truth of the whole thing behind it is that the Saudis and the Jews are best of buddies, and they're going, well, we got these idiots just jumping everywhere, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I yeah, mean, I want to. I want to know from Rob Works too why you're not supposed to play what? with your food. Although really? Tork testicle and his fuzzy yogurt is like. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I heard the name like that. Tork testicles got fuzzy yogurt. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wow. Well, <sighs> that's what comes from Tork testicles. <laughs> wow. Is that what you get? What do you get when you squeeze a tart testicle? Well, you get fuzzy yogurt. <laughs> See, I, I was right. I told you. You know what makes us animals? It's the ball hair. <laughs> and, you know, and I've come to the decision that the system and science and all that horseshit, they, they make too much of convincing us that we are animal-like. And I have decided to take a different path and say... <laughs> fuck you and your animal like and I don't think so no, and I... the reason I say that is there are, are, are plenty of animals that emulate what we do but not one that does it all <laughs> so no we are not animals but I did hear um, you know I go to you see why to listen to some of the um, opposition and, and other people who have radio shows and such yeah you still listening to yeah. Jules yeah. Oh, yeah. At least once a week I catch up on Jules because she's on the, the AI. Mm -hmm. But the other guy, um, Clint Richards, he's got he's got some show, the Shalai Lama. Well, anyway, he's a little bit more towards the God thing than I am. You know, he leans towards the teachings of the Bible and such. Mm -hmm. But the end result that he's got is the same as mine. Yeah. Yeah. We're being had by the fucking Jews. Blah, 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 blah. And if you say a bad word against them, they, you know, you're the one that gets in trouble. Blah, 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 blah. blah. The banks are horrible. Blah, blah, blah. All that shit. Mm -hmm. Everything, right? Except I don't go as far with him on the God thing. So if you're into the God thing and you're looking for, you know, something interesting, I would say Cliff, Cliff Richardson on uh, UCY would be good for that. Oh, cool. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't know. I like it. And then, we, you know, I like shit that nobody likes anyway, so, <laughs> yeah. Hey, in 1971, I was one of three people that owned a copy of E Pluribus Unum in my state. Wow, that's impressive. It was a Grand Funk album. See, you didn't know what I was talking about. No, I, I didn't. Tell. Aha! <laughs> e Pluribus Funk. It was even in a silver round. They made a, a record cover to just like the album. It was priceless. Of course, in my you know later days, I, I lost ownership of it. Ah, well. It might have been the same card game I lost. Uh, I lost. Never mind. That's not a good story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 18 on the red. <laughs> Oops. It's the wrong game. This is poker. <laughs> oh, <What>? shit. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah, you, you, they got cards and shit. It's really wild. They, You sit at a table with these little plastic round things, and they give you little picture things with numbers and pictures on them. And then you put them together, and then you pretend to have things you don't have. Yeah, it's cool. And then sometimes you pretend to have shit you don't have, and you really do have it. Oh. Yeah. You know what they call that? Uh-uh. Gambling. Oh, I've heard of yeah. that. I've that's heard that the, that's a sin. It's one of the seven deadliest. Yeah. Baby, Which Jesus would smite your ass. Well, I don't, I don't think Jesus has anything to do with the seven deadly sins. But speaking of that, did you ever see that movie, Seven? Yes. Wow. Oh. I like the end of that movie. You know... Do you, know, do you ever stop? You're sitting there masturbating in your own feces. Do you ever just stop and go, wow, it's just amazing how fucking crazy I am? Uh, 
The guy that thought of the question is more sick than the guy that does it. Yeah. 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 See, because the guy that would do that wouldn't know he was being sick. But the guy that thinks about it, he's being sick going in the room. <laughs> 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 hey, where's my camera? I got to take a picture of this. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Smile, guns, and ammo. <laughs> <laughs> Well, wouldn't the NRA love that? Have a picture of some guy with a big gun and his hand full of meat. <laughs> Smiling yeah. from ear to ear. Kink. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet gun sales would go up overnight, too. Uh, if they did that. Yeah. They, they, well, that and saying that, that one of the government departments just placed an order for however many million rounds of 22 you know, it's like All it's right, like the whole yeah. world goes absolutely nuts when they release something like that. Social Security okay. Department has decided to place an order for yeah. so many million rounds of twenty-two rounds. <laughs> where where are they going to keep their twenty-two million rounds? Let me ask you that. Where, where you know when you initiate it from? Oh, I'd like twenty-two million bullets, please. Right? How many companies on the face of the earth are big enough to manufacture that many bullets? In the first place. And then you got to take possession of them. Where are you going to put them? It's a scam. It's just like everything else. Not that there's not bullets, not that there's not millions of bullets, but the numbers they give us are just to keep us afraid and cowardly. I know. We run around with our hands in the air going, run away, run away. It's a scary monster. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, what? Well... I'm just going to stick with my anarchist position and say this. What? You fuckers are all nuts. And some go. of them are twisted. <laughs> and, yeah, but the weirdest part about the whole, uh, uh, the way the society's been taught to, uh, to see anarchy is they think we're in some kind of group. They we're organized and we talk to each other and no, the whole point of it is to stay the fuck away from you. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be around you, you statist. That's, uh, you know, and then no matter what bit of dirt you live on, other people that don't live on the bit of dirt you live on title you according to the, what they know about the bit of dirt you live on. And they don't know shit about the bit of dirt no. you live on. Well, well, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. They think they do because, you know, you read links and you see wailing and shit on TV. And, yeah, you're all of a sudden you're a, you know, an expert on Greenland because you saw one island, you know, harpoon some whales to eat for the year. <laughs> They're being cruel to those poor whales. Oh. <laughs> well, well. While they sit there, while, while they sit there and carve up a pig, you know. Yeah. What's the fucking difference? Yeah. Which is what I was getting at earlier. You know, all this, oh, we're animal-like. No, we're not. It's a scam so that they can control how you think about animals. See, and I think if animals actually knew what the hell we were accusing them of us being like, they would go, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't, <laughs> I, I never, ever considered doing that. What the hell? Oh, oddly enough, I was walking back today from the grocery and... Uh, on the way, there's a pigeon on the fence that I'm I'm following, and the pigeon is jumping ahead of me to stay on this fence and stay ahead of me out of my reach. Mm -hmm. And I finally see he's got something in his mouth, or she, or whatever it was. And then another one comes, flies right in front of my face, lands on the fence right in arm's reach, and just stands there and stares at me. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't have any food to hide. It, w it wasn't protecting itself from me. Ah. So, in other words, it was... Riding the fence and giving you this look like, what you looking at? Yeah, like stay like animals will because that's how animals are. They don't share. You show me an animal that shares and I'll, I'll man, I'll name my next kid after you. Well, mine don't. They don't right, share honey. very well at all. <laughs> right, honey? Right, that's what I mean. But this is the society that we're in. They try to compare us to things that we're not. By well, yeah. showing you the similarities, blah, blah, blah. But when you cut it down to the core, no, we're not like animals. Not even close. And yeah. then they try to say shit like, well, evolution. And, uh, I heard another opinion, and that was we're, we're being evolved on purpose. 
Oh, yeah? Evolved mm. into and what? AI? That, right. Artificial mm. intelligence? Because there sure as hell isn't very much real intelligence out there. No, it's a physical <laughs> evolution, not, a, not, not so much mental. The mental will go where the physical goes, but it's aimed at your physical, not your mental. Oh, and yeah. What, what happened was back in like 1750, they started this inoculating, uh, inoculations, whatever, polio. I think was the first thing they attacked, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm listening to this guy, and he's explaining the way he sees it is you give the human being body an injection, and when you do that, the uh, the body rejects it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, it's and gathers forces, and yeah. Yeah, it's attacking a foreign thing and entering its body. So right there, and it's in the first that you're already wrong doing it, which I don't disagree with. But other people with more scientific knowledge and all this horse shit, they'll take it so far as to justify something that if you really sit down and think it through in the beginning, you would never get to the science part because it's fucking wrong to do it. Yeah. Right? And those <laughs> things are what caused cancer. Cancer oh. was not known before human beings were inoculated with vaccine. I think it was known, but it wasn't an automatic death sentence. Right. You know, the C not word. Like, right. But, and not only that, but the, the remedies to illness were, uh, they weren't hidden from you by the government like they are now. Oh, yeah. Because there was no government to hide it from you. Yeah. Circle mm. said that Hannah shares, she said she gladly shares her farts and her barks and the mud on her fur and her tongue. She's all about yeah. sharing, which Bubba is all about. Bubba will give you a bath even after you've just come out of the bath. Ooh. He will give you a bath. Cause that's See, and then, hey, except bones. Man, that damn Hannah will growl at me if she's got a bone and I walk close to her. She's all... <laughs> And I'll put my hand right on her. She won't bite me or anything, but she's got that stand, you know, that behavior. Like, you come near my bone, and you're going to be the next bone. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and just just that little thought right there, I think about it. Greed and, uh, and competition is something you're taught. You, you're not born. I wasn't born with it. No. You know, it was something I acquired by association. It, because I dropped it just as easily as, as I picked it up. Yeah. Well, well, that's what I think. Well, and that's what I I think a lot of people that are are learning things now and and forming their own opinions. You know, I think they're unlearning a lot of conditioning that they got when they were younger. Hmm. Hmm. Like what? Well, you know, like um. Oh, let's see. Now I'm. Uh, <laughs> teachers actually well, teach you something. Now, th granted, there are some teachers out there that actually teach you something, but there's an awful lot of them out there that, yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I question that whole teaching you something is what? Just getting you to repeat what I say? What are you learning? You're not learning any fucking thing. You're just repeating what I said. Yeah. So to take credit for you being able to repeat me is learning? Mm, I don't think so. That's but the way the ahead. school system measures that shit. And see, I used to think that that was really, you know, people were learning. <laughs> and yeah, now Moose, I know Moose better. Is on too. Uh, right. And I'm interrupting you because Moose is carrying on about the dog thing that we straight yep. off of. Yep. So, well, I was yeah. giggly for her because her Marty is a cool dog. Ah. Mm. Yeah. Puppy dogs. Yeah. My Bubba cannot control his liquor. <laughs> He just cannot. Yeah, see, even Kate says her, her dogs will share the bowl, the water bowl, the plate, leftover, but never a bone. And see, I don't think, you know, I'm not going to compare a bone to my wife, you know. Well, I'm not sharing my wife. Well, the, ha, ha, you are an animal. Well, not really. <laughs> I think it'd be more of an animal if I did. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And got, invite the guys over for football and stuff. Oh, yeah, right. There, there's civilization for you in a nutshell. Yeah, it's yeah. just modern day gladiators. Do you ever look at other people and just go, wow, yeah. what the fuck is wrong? People do that to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they ask me to my face, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, God, yesterday at work, uh, <laughs> I scared a customer. And I mean, I seriously, 
because I was <laughs> reading the chat and torque testicle and you and someone else was going and something about and I remember saying something about it's better to have a list than a lisp and then the conversation went and this customer would just happen to be walking by my desk to go back to the bathroom and I snorted I laughed so hard and he looked at me and I said, I'm sorry, I just read something on the internet and it's really freaking <laughs> funny. And I'm busting a gut laughing. And this guy moved all the way over to the parts counter and walked by. And it's like, oh, wow, I really did scare him with my snorting and laughing. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. He gave me a wide berth for the rest of the time he was there. I didn't uh -huh. mean to scare him with laughing at you guys, but wow, I sure did. <clears throat> so how many feet of rain did you get this week? Um, all together, a little over four inches in the last few days. Wow. Days? Well, yeah, two and a half, three days. And, and let me ask you this. And you've lived there how, well, okay, let's not answer the question, but you've lived there a few few minutes, right? Uh-huh. And you don't find this weather strange? Mm. Yeah. I think this is, how do you, this is how do the you wettest it's it? been and for... And it was wild last night. We had three uh. storms come through last night. And, well, uh -huh. before the show, you kn we were trying to get connected on Skype, and I was having Internet issues. We had three rip snorters um, go through here. And, I mean, each one of them had hail in them, had high wind. And, yeah, yeah, and each each one was progressively worse than the one before it. And it... Which is why I have more branches down out in the yard. But it, the weather is just wild out here. And what, what do you think is behind all that weather disturbance? Well, I think, I really do think that, that uh, the weather is affected by people's energy. And I think a lot of this frustration with the government and all that fun stuff that energy field is building up and it's messing with and then when you add to that all of the the uh, um, not natural clouds in the sky um, you know that those not natural clouds that come out of the back of airplanes you oh add yeah, that the to the that, mix that nobody believes are real yeah yeah. No, that doesn't happen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. My camera lies. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm having a delusion. So <laughs> I'm I'm thinking it's like a dominoes falling kind of thing. Yet yet mm. one one in and of itself is bad, but then you mm. add another one to that, and then add another one to that, and it's like the dominoes start falling, and things really get wild and woolly. Mm. So. Well. I think it's the government experimenting with all the crap that they experiment with. Well, and yeah, I do believe they're behind it. Private industry, there's no profit in it in the short run, so I don't see private doing it. But government, oh yeah, big time. Because they work in 20-year blocks, 20, 30, 40 years. Yeah, they have a generational mm. mindset. Did you, did you know that there's people that really believe that our currency is real. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> wow. And there's lots of them, too. Mm-hmm. But mm -hmm. you know what's growing? What's that? Is the, the, the little group that goes, oh, well, it's, it's all make-believe, but this is what we got to do. You know, this is what we've got for the moment, but no, it's not real. Yeah. And that so, really is growing. But how do you explain to a, a person that's been indoctrinated... And the whole pa the pounding for 50 years, and they voted, and they went to war, and they did all that shit they were supposed to do. And then at the end, they, f hey, wait a minute. Was I, was I butt raped here? What the fuck? And they wake up to the truth. They're not happy people. No, they're not, which is why they're trying to take oh. guns away from veterans, because they trained them how to use those things. Yeah, I heard you talk. That's what I heard you talking about. Yeah, because I find it really hard to forgive somebody for taking that final violent act and, and doing something irreversible and blaming it on, well, I had orders. Uh, so what? I've been told what to do my whole fucking life, and I think I came through eight times. Yeah. Yeah. I said, sure, I'll do that, and never fucking did it. 
you know, it doesn't keep you employed, but it keeps you honest. Ah, hey, cool. <laughs> RLMradio.xyz yeah. is regged for another year. Yay! Booyah! Grimner's happy. Uh, as long as the bear's fucking fed, I don't give a shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, is this the part where I'm supposed to be like Hans and offer to make Grimner coffee every morning for the rest of his life? Grimmy wouldn't take it because it would be Starbucks coffee. And he... <laughs> <laughs> I know. Were you reading it that morning? That was... Wow. It was my morning, but wow. I thought, good Lord. There's yeah. real estate in New Mexico I need to go check into. And Grim's going, no, you don't. <laughs> it's no. old. Stay it's away. old already. <laughs> yeah. No, wow. I don't think we need to hang. Yeah. What? Yeah. That's kind of cruel. I think Grim's being mean. I think we <laughs> should invite that fine young Nazi fellow over and make him some coffee. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. I, I when buying a domain if I'm gonna act like Wow, you know what? what? I don't own anything and I use everything I touch. Did you know that? Oh, I just had a really let's let's find another subject because my mental image just went <laughs> Oh, I'm not talking about your <laughs> penis and balls and such. I was <laughs> Nay. <laughs> wow, you dirty girl. <laughs> Why do you always go south? What's with you? I thought you were a Midwestern girl. I am. Yeah, you're from Florida. Because <laughs> you're always going down south. Oh, well, well. Um, yeah. No, I, yeah. We invented That's country cruising, damn it. The <laughs> south will rise again. It I will. Didn't write, I didn't write it. <laughs> I'll bet I'll bet you it was a woman that wrote that. You think? Or a braggy yeah, or maybe a braggy guy that got shot in the leg or something. <laughs> I'll be back. Just give me a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know. Beauregard over here in the meantime, stay away from him. He's bad. <laughs> Cause, I can't. Why I've got my hand on my leg right now, Tork testicles <laughs> should add an s to your fucking name there sport and be you know be really unique don't be such an individual join a group <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was gonna join a group once really you know that yeah uh, you know what that group was uh-uh the united states navy really i was 16 years old and I took all their necessary tests, and I impressed every fucking body in the world with my scores, and all and such like that. But you know what happened at the end? You heard that village people song in the Navy. <laughs> no, I told them, I told them I was a conscientious objector and refused to to fight. Ah. And then by the time that was over, well, the mil let's see, the Navy didn't want me. Uh, then they sent me to the Marines, and the Marines didn't want me. You ain't to kill anybody. You could fuck off. But then even the Army said, well, no. <laughs> if you're not willing, come on. You know, what kind of military we got? A bunch of guys that don't do shit, but they won't kill anyone. What, what are you, nuts? I don't know. So, well, yeah, but so I was really upset about it because I didn't have money for education. And I had, at that time in my life, I'd been raised to believe all the stories. Ah. And, yeah, it took a few years for me to realize that these people spared me is what they did. Oh, yeah. By rejecting me. Right. Well, so I learned at a very early age, rejection from the system is like, wow. That's a bonus than, round. Well, it's better than an orgasm sometimes, depending on what you didn't get yourself in, involved in. I don't know. You may need to ask your wife about that one. Uh, about what one? Being better than an orgasm. Oh, that. Oh, well. I said sometimes. I said all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you're the uh, one that went south that time, so there. I was trying to keep up, Miss Mary. <laughs> hard act. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of hard acts to follow. <laughs> <laughs> Here on the bridge! 
Well, you know what? I I once told the story about how how I see the 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 plight of the American Native Indian, you mm-hmm. know, Native American, whatever. Uh-huh. And boy, did I get my ass handed to me on a plate. Oh yeah, who did that? Did not like everybody <laughs> because they said I was being worse than they are. Hmm. Well, wow. my opinion was was such, right? Mm-hmm. Here you are, you're sitting around, you're running around naked in the forest, and you, you know, you, you're smoking the the weed, and you're eating the, the mushrooms, and you're having a good life, and then a bunch of European fucks come in with weapons and kill you, and, and you know, and the survivors. There's always a mortality rate to any disaster. Somebody's going to yeah. live to talk about. Right? Uh huh. So the survivors carry on, and they became the possession of the people that conquered them. And yeah. they even adapt their name, Native American. Wait a minute. How can you be a Native American when it wasn't America before they invaded it? That's true. How can you? You've got to be a Native something. Well, why did you take your slave master's name? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> and, un, and it's safe to say the average Joe didn't have much to argue with me on that one. <laughs> so they just called me a bunch of names and said, shut up. <laughs> ah, and Grimmy but, just shared a meme. Um, I could I, eat, I could eat a bowl of alphabet soup and shit a better argument than that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, who's gonna judge it? You know, that's what I want to know. Are you taking pictures, or do you have like a, a a panel of six judges that sit there and look at it and go, hmm, what have we got here? <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> It's either alphabet soup or Gribbs have a giggle. <laughs> Take your pick. I don't know. This Alex. argument smells shitty. <laughs> oh, yeah, about my Indian thing. I don't know. No, no. I'm just, no. I don't think it was about that. I think he was just, which that, that is funny. Yeah. But life is funny. But I, I did lose, you know, a lot of um, folks <laughs> didn't like that I said that. Yeah. Yeah, nobody argued about it in detail. They just said, well, you're mean. You don't know anything. The old, you need to read a book. Well, yeah, reading a book is how you got where you're at. <laughs> <laughs> that, that looks like some sound advice there. I'm going to go read a book and start typing like Hans Dietrich. <laughs> wow. Egad. Like, yeah. You know, the fucker puts Fox news clips on the RLM. I'm, I feel so bad for him sometimes. It's like, wow. Oh, but they are entertaining sometimes. No. Okay. To, all right. I, to somebody that would use Facebook, for any reason, I would assume you can justify that. In my reality, there's no way to justify any of this crap. It's all bullshit. Well, you know, yeah, but sometimes you got to point, you got to open it up and point it out to people so that they can see. Yeah, see, see how funny and how much bullshit this is? It's kind of oh, like on. that like that one I did last night about the uh, college kids that were wanting that professor to resign because he was <laughs> it's like, are you kidding me? Do you guys do you not did you not learn how to use a dictionary when you were in elementary school? Let's see they're they're counting on the stupidity of the listener, okay yeah, they want. This is life has not become raise everybody up to an acceptable level. It's become stomp the fuckers down until they're as dumb as dirt. All of them. Mm -hmm. And like like a war, we're the mortality rate. We're the survivors of that onslaught. And the people that take the worst beatings are the ones that tell you that nothing's wrong with them. It's all over there somewhere, you know. It's the Swedes and the North Koreans and the this, then the that's and the. But my neighborhood's perfect. Yep. You know, they don't even get to the my neighborhood's perfect part. They just bitch about every place else, and never seem to realize what happens a thousand miles away from you. And the, nah, you're being scammed into believing it matters. The things that do matter, you don't have a voice in them anyway, so your opinion has no weight. Yes, you do, because now there's petitions on WhiteHouse.gov, and Grimmy, Grimmy voted. Grimmy voted. 
He voted for ribs. smoked ribs. <laughs> Is Pence going to beat Trump to death with a smoked rib and take the White House? Well, no, the the thing is, which of the current petitions to the POTUS at petitions.whitehouse.gov are the most important? And mm. smoked ribs <laughs> equals food of USA, which, okay, I, I can't argue. Grim, I'm going to have to vote for smoked ribs right along with you. Because mm. I think that's, mm. yeah, I'm going to cast a ballot for smoked ribs. Wow. Or is that Great. placing an order for smoked ribs? I get those so confused. Can you afford it if they deliver from D.C.? <laughs> I don't want them delivering from D.C. Hey, I don't want I them to deliver anything from D.C. You've been a penny in all over the place. I wanted to share my epiphany, too, but you okay. didn't want to let. <laughs> okay, well, you just a piff all over. <laughs> my epiphany got smoked by smoked ribs right now. Ah. See, I, I got this dream now in my head. I want to see the vice president, Pence, beat the. The president, Trump, to death with a smoked rib and then get out of it because it was self-defense. Oh, hey. Yeah, he attacked me with his hair. What could I do? <laughs> I, I had to defend myself. And then the Jesuits can take over and get this fucking game finished and ended already. It's ridiculous. Hmm. Well, what? I'm... Mm, okay. So what are we going to do after they get this one done? Are we going to dance around? Hey, will we be able to revert back to those them, their Native Americans or indigenous peoples? Or, yeah. Yeah, and just wait for the Europeans to come with guns to take your land, just like the first people did. Oh, it's just a rerun of the old story. They're, they've run out of they've run out of shit to to bamboozle us with. All there is left is the truth. It's ours, and we want it back. And you guys are in the way. Okay, I just saw this pop up. Rob Works just shared this. Australians mm -hmm. can't order two scoops of the same ice cream until they have marriage equality. What the, who the, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, what the hell's that got to do with the price of beans in China? Two scoops of the same ice cream until... Well, if, if Grimm's going to vote for smoked ribs, Rob has every right to post crazy hand stuff too, I suppose. Well, I'm just thinking... Only in Australia. Mary B is Mary B's not on, is she? No, no. She'll she listen maybe. later, though. B, what the yeah. hell's the deal here? Although it You'll would be kind of fun to have two scoops of ice cream and have them be two different flavors, and then they would intermingle, and then by the time you get to the bottom of the cone, they would be one <laughs> flavor again. And oh my <laughs> God, ah, that's against vanilla ice cream or something. That's ice creamist. How you know, dare they? B. B's another one of my friends that frequents that freaking uh, Facebook shit mm -hmm. and such. And there you go. You can catch her over there. I've been banned so many times that I refuse to even try to get on it. They bruised my ego. Ah. When, they, when, they, when they sided with the religious nut against me, the pot nut, uh -huh. and booted me because I said, hey, you're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> you <laughs> know what's really funny? Pot. I was talking with my brother Fudd that um, yeah. comes in the RLM chat occasionally, yeah. and he'd apparently, no, it wasn't Fudd, it was my brother Dammy. In any case, uh, he got into a little verbal tete-a-tete -tete or cybernetic tete-a-tete -tete with someone, and the ones that he was in the cybernetic tete-a-tete -tete with, they were you know putting forth this you need to you need to be kind to the transgendered people and yada 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 and dammy came up with a perfectly logical um argument and he was i mean he just laid out an, a logical argument and he got a two week facebook timeout and he was uh, telling me about this, and he said, why? They were slinging names at everybody. They were doing all this other fun shit. And I said, mm -hmm. number one, one of them probably has a hotline to the Facebook <laughs> censor <laughs> channel. And number yeah. two, darling, you cannot use logic on Facebook. You just plain can't. That is like a cybernetic uh -huh. faux pas. You do that shit, and they boot you out for two weeks because it takes that long for the logic air to clear the building. So, Damn. yeah. So when I told him that, he said, oh, well, I guess. 
when I get back on there, I'm going to have to drop another logic bomb and see how long I get kicked that time. <laughs> so now it's become a challenge for him to oh. see how long, how long he has to dispense logic before the logic bomb goes off and he gets kicked. Yeah, I just do it the old-fashioned way and tell people to fuck off. <laughs> it's you know, it's a lot shorter line. I don't gotta wonder or wait. I know, I know it's coming. As soon as I say, it's over. <laughs> mm. yeah. yeah, people are very sensitive. Yes, what is that all are. about? They take words um, that they ambiguous words that they read on a screen site. They give them a value according to their own judgment of value. And then they judge the person that wrote it without knowing the person that wrote it at all, just reading shit on a screen. Yeah. Like I like I do to hands, only not so funny. <laughs> well, there's some things in life that are just obviously funny, and hands just falls into that group. He's like, funny? How, what, do you, what else can you call him? I know. We'll, we'll, we'll ask the crowd. Rob Works, Woodman, and Grimner. What would you call Hans? If he's not funny, what the hell is he? <laughs> well, he's most definitely Cliff. Uh, oh, no. I I love him so much. He <laughs> says, I, he told me the other day, I'm obsessed with him. You know why? Why? I woke up early one morning and came in. It was like 5 o'clock in the morning. So I threw on the R, L, and M because people is still up yakking. And guess who was there? My buddy. And I can't resist a little <laughs> poke in the eye in the morning. Come on, you little poke in the morning, buddy. Come on. It's all in fun. Yeah. But you know what? My favorite story of all that Hans has ever told, I got to tell you this one. I don't know if you read this. But he was on there talking about his accountant. Because, you know, Hans is a very wealthy man, ladies. Lots of stuff for the babes to, you know, uh, link on to anyway <laughs> so he's talking about his uh, his accountant mm -hmm. and he picked a gay accountant because well a gay accountant wouldn't have a wife to nag him so he couldn't do his job and i thought well that explains why you're single <laughs> 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 but do you know do you talk to the accountant like that or are you just talking to us about how you want to talk to him like that and see how can i not love hands <laughs> i don't know uh, they're they're answering your question now oh you know what it's all a matter of interpretation mr grimner i really don't know i just have my opinion and just like everybody else your opinion is worth i don't know two balls and a and some ball hair <laughs> not going to go anywhere with two balls and some ball here. You need more parts. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you right now. Really? Guarantee it. Well, I'm Are thinking ridiculous does count as funny, though. Ah, there you go. You win. Yeah. Fake. Oh, wow. Hey. Ouch. Miss, Mr. Woodman called him a ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wow. Well, I get a little insulted by Hans because he says, I come on the site to argue with people. And I told him, no, just you, sweetheart. You're the only one that gets up my nose so bad I don't even want to block you. I just want to keep you talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you, know, you know, that is where you get your material, my dear. You got to admit that. I, and I, I felt so guilty about stealing from him for so long. I thought I'd give him credit. Thank you, Hansel. For all the fodder for the dork table, you <laughs> sir, you sir are an, you're you're an instrument. I tell you, an instrument. <laughs> He's invaluable. Absolutely. See, we need that. We we need comedy in our lives. But the the problem was is he takes himself so seriously that I I started to think he he believed what he was saying. I didn't realize until today. Oh, he's just having a giggle. I thought it, and I said it, but I'm really positive now that <laughs> that account joke just went, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I have a gay, you know, I don't know if it ever occurred to Hans about this part, but gay people have partners that are annoying just like the rest of us do. And wow, just because he's not married to a female nag doesn't mean he's not married to a male nag. Yeah. 
which is the point of it. He was trying to bash women. Well, women are out of it. Yeah, right. And you're not. <laughs> I could piss off with the pulp, man. Now, let me tell you. <laughs> I tell you what. I I enjoy my being human, as he would probably. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. He seems like a woman basher to me. I saw another thing about some girl trying to get him to buy her coffee and a donut or something. You know, wow, there's a big investment in the future. <laughs> yeah. How did you meet? We were at Starbucks, and he bought me a coffee and a donut, and I knew. <laughs> <laughs> That always impresses the babes. I'm telling you. Is that what it is? Man, see, and I'm missing out because I don't have a Starbucks. Shit. I mean, don't all women that are looking to, you know, for a mark in society start at Starbucks so they can get that real money that goes in there for coffee? Uh, it depends on what kind of mark they're looking for. <laughs> a mark on their forehead. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> hey, damn don't. that. You... You're one of those guys that believes in Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, never mind. Never it's, mind. It's, it's it's a penis joke, Miss Mary. A penis joke. Oh, ow, and, ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I get it now. And, you know, I just wanted to clear it up for once and all. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I I don't know. I get I get on here onto the RLM sometimes since hands ain't around. And I go, and I read the chat, and it's kind of boring, and nothing really happened. I go, I miss hands. <laughs> Because I don't have to open his links. I just got to read the titles and think, wow, this this guy's a success, huh? Yeah, but wow. I'll tell you what. Those headlines, wow. those are supposed to grab your attention. And then you get into the article. I mean, you've heard me on the radio. I get into the article, and it's like, that's nothing like the headline. The headline sounded fun. This sucks. Yeah, and you'll but see that you'll st you'll stop reading it, and you'll go on to something else. This guy will beat the drum until the drum is falling apart. Yeah. Oh, and it's like, wow, is it when is enough enough? Well, so I just learned that I want to be just like him in the future. But not so, re you know, not so religious to the to the Trump thing. Oh. So I when sure you like grow that. up? Yeah. You want to be like Hansel when you grow up? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, a gay bashing Nazi wannabe that's not happy where he lives. Wow, you know that's setting the bar kind of high. It's going to keep me busy forever. <laughs> <laughs> see, first I have to get unhappy, and then I got to get you know like ambition, which ain't going to happen. But I can promise people, you know, I'm going to do that. I swear. <laughs> ah. Ask my wife about the. I'm going to do it in another year or two. <laughs> I get around to it. Yeah. What's your hurry? What What do you got a hole in the backyard? You're going to push me in after I finish that? <laughs> Uh, well, you, you know, you're walking, talking fertilizer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember the trees. Yeah. Yeah. When I get, I don't know what, I think, nah, just, it's too much trouble. You know, he, I could leave myself to medical science, but I'm baffling them while I'm alive. So I don't have any faith in them. They'll, they'll just fuck me up and chop me into little pieces. See, and I just always told people that I was going to leave myself to science fiction. But then I thought, no, they can write better you, stories than that. Um, so then I saw something hmm. on Facebook the other day. Um, someone is going to be cremated and then have their ashes put in an Etch-A-Sketch. And I thought, oh, that could be fun. Wow. And while you were reading that, I was reading Grimm's Last Entry. Wow. Because I got a real problem with the cancer, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, especially since there are so many. Re can you say remedies without the FDA fucking you in the ass? Uh, yeah. I don't know. And say rem there's alternatives. I don't know. You can hint around, but you can't fucking come out and be honest about anything. You have to be just as big a liar as the liar to be accepted with an opinion. And it's like, fuck me. How did how did it get this way? Uh you let government get their toe in the door. That's how it got that way. For your well, own uh, good. Uh, it's for your safety. We're going to yeah, save you from all those things that just might make you better without us making a buck. By God, we can't have that. It's national security. Well, the oil seemed to have played a big part in your realizing the uh, the sham around you, uh -huh. shall we say. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, beyond serving time on that um, political thing you did. Uh huh. I mean, that was one thing. But when you when you got your hands on the oils, I realized, wow, you're starting to see even different layers of what you're looking at. You know, yeah. It was obvious because I, you know, I talk to you a lot, but to other people that don't know you, I wonder what they were thinking. You know, I think, they, damn, they, she's batshit right. crazy. Oh, come on. Who but you know what? Batshit? You know what was really cool yesterday? Okay, the other day, and I know I talked about it last night, I think, yeah. um, about uh, coworkers. I had one coworker that his hand was, oh, no, I was telling Lisa B about it. That's right. Mm. Uh, yeah, one of my coworkers uh, was telling me that he messed up his hand, and then the other one goes, yeah, well, I got a sinus headache that's, you know, really killing me and so as they call it i whipped out my voodoo bag my witch doctor medicine and Mm -hmm. uh got a rollerballer out that i a blend that i mixed up for when you're uh the cartilage damage and nerve Mm -hmm. damage and joints and muscles are all aching so i put that on the one co-worker's hand and wrist and then put it on the other one because I said, you're going to be compensating, so let's make sure both of them are tended to. And then the other one, I gave him an oil blend that I blended up for um, allergies because this time of year, especially with all the moisture, allergies mm. are really kicking in. Yeah, I got and, them too. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, both of them told me later that, you know, one said his hand was feeling better. The other one said, hey, my sinus is really cleared up. Thank you very much. Well, then yesterday afternoon, the one with the sinus issue hollered over at me and said, do you still got that witch doctor bag? And I said, <laughs> yes, I do. And he goes, can I have some more of that sinus stuff? Because, man, because his nose was really starting to drain. And mm-hmm. and so yep. I doctored him up and. He was feeling better by the time I left work. So, you know, yeah. it, and all it is is just stuff that came from plants. You know, so, yeah. hey. Yeah. But I've, know, I've known of these things for many years, but uh, finding them is another story because of the way I've lived in the last six. See, when and I was I've in always, North Carolina, yeah, I could I, get any, yeah, but here, hmm. Yeah, I've always known that, you know, you eat properly, you eat the, the right foods, and which is healthy vegetables and all that other fun stuff, that your body will do much better as well. <laughs> but, you yeah. know, I just did not, it's one of those stupid little epiphany things that you have where it's, it's a duh when it's right there in your face, but until then, until someone sticks it right in your face and goes, you know, those <laughs> things, those are made from <laughs> plants too. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> right. And they're amazed because they're so fooled by the bullshit of the modern day voice. Because mm-hmm. we have all this incredible shit that does absolutely useless shit. Doesn't, uh, d- it's not worth using in the end, but you don't know that because you don't know the electricity we're given is garbage. Okay. So you got to, what? Okay. You don't know, mm-hmm. and which made me think, okay, I got to read mm-hmm. your little blurb. <laughs> that you wrote. That's Uh-oh. a bugger to read, by the way, but it's funny. Okay. <laughs> so this is Flasher Rooney Dork, because this is pretty good. D's and D's. This week we will explore the great unknown. Not the great known or the great unknown knowns or even the great known unknown knowns. Folks, I'm talking about the mother of all deceptions. Yes, the great unknown. Not the unknowns of those nasty known unknowns. We will also be holding court to determine if you are of any further use to us in the slave labor market. It seems that AI and robotics are making labor force useless and obsolete. All this and Trumple's cell phone number, which is might be next to Hill Dogs if he continues to be a weak suck POTUS. But uh, that whole known unknowns, we don't know what we don't know until we know yeah, what we don't know, which, you, yeah, you borrowed that from Rummy. No, I stole that from Rummy. That was brilliant. Yeah. You, that's the mother of all double talk. Politics that, in a nutshell. I know. That kicks shit yeah. out of, 
uh, slick yeah. willies. It depends on what your definition of is is. You know that no, that that no slick willies was legitimate because they're speaking in Latin, in English, in a law in, in a legal deal, and you got to know is which version of the word are you using, or you commit yourself to an answer that you didn't, uh, you could have prevented. It's legal speak, dear. It's yes. legalese. It's not. It's well, not a joke. No, you keep saying that, and I keep saying the same thing. No, he knew exactly what. He oh, was I doing. knew. He's a he, fucking lawyer. I knew. I know he knew exactly what he was talking about. But it's yeah, yeah. to the, the the general public. They just sat there yeah, and went. Yeah. It depends what yeah. the definition of is is. What the fuck? Thought it was a joke, right? They didn't realize. No, he was I think beating. a lot of people realized that that was the ultimate in double speak. But I don't say, they, I don't think a lot of people realized anything. You say that a lot too. People real I don't know what people realize, but by their actions, they don't realize much. Their actions dictate that they they see what they what you're talking about and they looked right at it. But oh, okay, I get where you're there okay. so that they could continue living in the fantasy that they're in because they're afraid to step out of it. It's terrifying leaving the fucking fantasy. I've done it a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And you don't know where you're going to go, man. Hey, that's a fucking hairy fucking feeling to have as an adult without financial means to support you. you got to have a lot of faith in life. Yeah. Not, not Jesus and all that shit, but, you know, I've lived a long time on the assumption that the next guy is not waiting for me to do me harm. Not that, oh, I'm a victim and this guy's going to fuck me over and steal my shit and blah, blah. I don't do that. I do the opposite and give him the benefit of the doubt. And whatever you call it, fortune, luck, happenstance, whatever you call it, I've always come out on the good side at the end, whatever the end was. No matter how it looked at the time. Mm -hmm. People have done rotten, horrible shit, you know. And in the end, it was the best thing they could have ever done for me. Oh, well, yeah. 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 Like uh like my my previous before I met Cirque, had she not dumped me, I wouldn't have been available to meet Cirque. Yeah. Cuz unlike the rest of you fuckers, I'm not a man whore. I don't go around poking everything I can see. You know what I mean? <laughs> Isn't that right, honey? Did I say that right, sweetheart? <laughs> 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 this is really good coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all gone. Shit. I oh. drank that. Oh, me. Now I'm working on this. Wait, no, this is my coffee now. Oh, I see that. It's yeah, clear. Absolutely. And I and I got a pipe just to keep my lungs black. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Black yeah, cause... lungs matter. <laughs> I was just going to say that. That's right. <laughs> oh. And all these, you know what? All these pissy little groups of fucking wannabe wankers, <laughs> black lives matter, and pink lives matter, and cha-chas matter. Everything fucking matters. No, it don't. I don't think anybody really takes any of that shit serious. They're just afraid to go against the machine and be uh, against it, because it's so unpopular now. You can get punished by the system. For speaking your fucking honest mind. Yeah. So now we've got a whole bunch of people that just go along with the flow so they don't cause a wave and get in trouble. Yeah. And then there's you. I know. Good Lord. I saw. I heard you talking about your your massage bizarreness on the radio. The other. <laughs> yeah, that was last night. Crying because somebody put their hands on you and major chakras melt or something <laughs> it was it was interesting <laughs> and you know what and all right i'm joking but you know what there's so much more to it than you could ever explain on a radio program oh god yeah you know yeah it's one of those things that if it doesn't interest you then you lose it's not the person talking telling you about it ain't losing shit they just know something you need to find out about at your own level and you stop yourself with your prejudices yeah see See, I'm not a, I'm not a complete dummy. I'm only a t partial dummy. Partial. Ah. The dork in me will run. Yeah, well, yeah. Black. Yeah, Chloe liked that. Black yeah. lungs matter. That's right. 
<laughs> smoke them their pipes and such folk. And if you don't want to smoke it, you can make some fucking tea. It's not. Wow. What is wrong with people? It's just like this heroin epidemic shit. People think the only way you can use heroin is to put it in a needle and stick it in your veins. No. That is just the most recreational way to use it. <laughs> ah. There there are other means. Yeah, well, every way that you ingest a drug into your body will bring you a different result. That's why when you're in a hospital, they want to shoot you with something and not give it to you orally because the result of the shot is different than the oral result. Oh. See, so if you do a drug on your own, it's the same thing. If I wanted to have tea made out of my weed rather than smoke it, I get a different result. Ah. Are apples and oranges not different flavors, Miss Mary? Yes, really? they are. Yes, they are. But and I still- happen to have apples and bananas, and those are two different shapes and flavors. But they're fruits. Yes. Just ask, just ask Hans's accountant. He'll tell you. <laughs> 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 banana. Ah, <laughs> uh, buena. Got banana. <laughs> Friday going bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you know this kinky shit these fuckers write. They call it. They call it literature. Two fucking guys stuck on an island together for twenty years, and neither one of them has a complaint. Hmm. <laughs> I find that quite suspicious, if you ask me. <laughs> Well, I'd be on that island for 20 minutes with Friday trying to figure out how to cook and eat the motherfucker. You know? <laughs> I don't want no lifelong companionship with ball hair. No, thank you. <laughs> but, but see, you know, the literary world, they, they want to pretend they're so innocent that two men are shipwrecked on an island and live happily ever after. What? Are you kidding me? You couldn't do it with a woman. <laughs> I don't see how you're going to do it with a guy. Oh, see you later, Beetle. Be yeah, safe. We lost, lost another one. Oh. No, he's we, getting ready I, to move. Uh, ooh. Hey, speaking of move, I'm going to move my foot over here. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> wow, that was a big move. <laughs> yes. 7 a.m. comes early, man. That's why I make all my appointments for after 12. <laughs> Well, that way I can't ever disappoint anyone. You know, they go, well, you weren't there. I go, I told you I'd be there between noon and seven. <laughs> like, you know, like the cable guy. Yeah. Oh, like Larry? Yeah, but I'm hairier and smaller. And people kind of go, whoa. <laughs> yeah, but, and do you go around in the, the sleeveless uh, flannel shirts that, that no. snap up the front? No. <laughs> I live in Denmark. For for seven months out of the year, you can't walk around in anything but a parka. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have sex in a parka to stay alive in this country. I mean, it's freaking cold. <laughs> well, of course, we could just go inside, but hey, you know, whatever. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? That's just being Explore a conformist. The and scare the neighbors. Explore the world around. <laughs> Uh, once, yeah, they've seen it once, they get used to it. Give them a couple of weeks. <laughs> ah. <laughs> when I don't, okay, Kate's talking to somebody about fried Twinkies. Um. Wow. Oh, I missed all the chat. My wife's even there talking crazy with Paul Bunyan. I know. I know. Mm-hmm. The shovel. Man, what are these people insane? The Clintons aren't going to ever pay a, a, a minute of uh, penance for their crimes against humanity, you nut jobs. They're above the fucking law. All of them. <laughs> Whoa, I got somebody laughing. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that I wouldn't like to be the guy that pile drives old hill dog. <laughs> but... I'm just saying that it ain't going to happen. You know, you can have your dreams if you want to, but no. <laughs> See, that, that woman does all the, the shot calling, you know? Oh, yeah. Whoever she is. I wouldn't know her if I ran into her in the street, really. You know, you know I'll bet you she's got a button to the shot caller, too, so. Well, think about it. You know, if, if I, I told the story, if I had a, 
that much money and I was in power, I'd hire first thing I do, hire some schmo to go out there and be me. Yeah, they're, you're you're taking the fucking heat for this shit, man. That's right. Ah. I pay you a good salary to be me. Now you go out there and be the worst me that you can be. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, I don't doubt that at all. Yeah. Well, it just doesn't make sense because they're all related, right? These people are all blood related to each other. Not the sex degrees of separation we argued about a couple weeks ago, but blood relation. You know, Uncle Wilbur's wife, cousins, you know, cousin Steve <laughs> <laughs> or Stephanie or whatever got together and they boinked and they had this thing offspring and it's got the bloodline and that's all that matters. Yeah. Uh. But but the people that we see doing the, the face, the representation and the performances, mm -hmm. I think it's just as bunch of bullshit as the money system. If you can't trust the money, how can you trust anything? Well, that's why I think I really would like to just do away with it. Well, c yeah, good luck with that. Well, I mean, you and then you then you get the argument of, well, you got all these people that won't do anything because, well, they won't get compensated. No. And it's like, no, no, seriously, if you don't have that whole mindset, you'd be surprised no. how quickly things would just work. Well, right. The threat of a disaster is way different than the reality of a disaster. Yes. The reality will actually bring you closer with your peers than uh, what what you think. We're just taught wrong is all. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of guys on the RLM and gals that, you know, cheer on the economic collapse out of sarcasm. But I really fucking mean it. I hope it happens. Yeah. You know, I'm ready. We got strawberries and taters growing in the back 40, Ma. Everything looking good. Oh, hey. Of course, we'll be all, we'll be all sucked up and skinny from our <laughs> vegetarian lifestyle. <laughs> but we won't be fighting any Koreans over fucking property in, you know, Germany. Oh, hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you, well, could, you could grow some cabbage as well, and then you could learn how to make kimchi. I heard no, that I stuff don't. reeks. I, yeah, it does. I don't like cabbage. But, well, when it, when I, I guess what I'm saying is I'm, I'm prepared in my mind more than I know for the end. I'm in a nice small community, and these people seem like they've, you know, they're willing to let me stay here. They're not, you know, they don't want to run me out of town on a rail. So if the shit hits the fan, I just got to pull my weight. Yeah. You know, and it's a cell. Uh, there was another thing. I was walking down the street looking at the pavement. And I was thinking about, hmm, when something here in this little town has a mishap, these fuckers fix it in a week. I mean, within a week. No matter, I've not seen anything drag on longer than a week. Wow. Yeah. They had a complete building that was falling apart and had been shut down. The kids were opening it and using it. And I guess they told the kids, stay out of it. And the kids didn't listen, so the city went in and tore the whole fucking thing down and tore it and, put, and drove it away in a week. Wow! The bulldozer, three guys in there moving shit, you know, and boom, 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 bunch of trucks, and then boom, it's all gone. So now the kids can't go disturb the building anymore because there ain't one. Ah, okay. Chloe says unless the bank wants to absorb the remainder of her mortgage, Chloe, honey, I'll bet you you've already probably paid. Just in interest, because the first oh, yeah. 20 yeah. years of any kind of mortgage, if you've got a 30-year mortgage, first 20 years are basically paying interest to the bank. So you mm -hmm. probably, all, depending on how long you've been paying on, it doesn't take that long to meet the principal amount that you borrowed. Mm. But, yeah, no, banks don't have it. to absorb shit. All they have to do no. is go, well, damn, we lost on that amount of interest. That it's all paper. It's yeah. there's no reality. It's made up. Well, you apply for a yeah. loan. They say yeah, and they put numbers on a screen. There's no transaction. You're being hustled. Mm -hmm. But you know, even here, same fucking thing in Denmark to some level. Uh -huh. But there's ways that they do things here that are a little softer on the ass. <laughs> oh, so they use a little lubrication, eh? Exactly. Like Cirque did a, a little checking and I was kind of looking over her shoulder reading to see what she was looking at, right? Mm -hmm. About the real estate thing. And I saw this thing that says that you can, um, you can make arrangements with your bank to only pay the fucking interest and not the principal for 10 years. Yeah. 
So what? Well, I'm not big on real estate. I don't give two flying fucks about any of it. But Sark does. Yeah. So I, I kind of. I kind of look over her shoulder and try to you know, pay a little bit of attention. And I thought, you know, in her version of it, we're just renting this from the bank anyway. It doesn't really fucking matter mm-hmm. how, how you pay them. To, try to pay them as little as possible. But, oh, we won't have equity in the house. Oh, those cons that they pull on us with mm-hmm. the equity and ownership. And, yeah, you're still paying fucking taxes. You don't own shit. Grow up, you dumbasses. But. I stand alone with my little wife with that thought. I stand alone. And people usually, yeah, and they usually tell me to shut up and go away when I say that. Mm. Mm. Okay. Can you hear Rascal purring? My God, she's purring loud. I'm hoping that's Rascal (laughs) because, never mind. (laughs) Ah. (laughs) I've I've heard rumors about women having extra special talents. (laughs) And I heard something in the background going, (laughs) <laughs> and I didn't know you had a cat there, so I was thinking, oh, how the, what are you taking up ventriloquism? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so yeah. my wife just, my wife just took the dog out for a walk. She ah. abandoned me. She abandoned me onto the dork table and left me in your capable hands. Oh, Lord. Oh, Cirque, you <laughs> really do not know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Chloe. Chloe. Do some research or whatever the fuck it's necessary for you to do. Here, do this. If you think the bank is real, when you pay your next mortgage, pay it in $100 bills. And when they don't accept it, you have to come to me and go, hey, they didn't accept it. If they do accept it, I want you to videotape it so I can put it on YouTube. There you go. Now, to tell you why is this. Cash and credits in a bank are not the same thing no they are and they don't and credits is how they keep the counting for your property Mm -hmm. not cash cash has nothing to do with it with cash you're just a slave to the man baby just like a birth certificate you saw that you're the one that posted that thing about oh how the how devious and deceptive this whole thing is yeah yeah people don't want to know they really don't. It's so intimidating. Well, that's kind of the Stockholm Syndrome thing. Man, if I had a stake in that race, I'd be fucking insane. You know? Mm-hmm. So it's just a damn good thing I'm a poor white boy that don't own fuck all. Or I'd be all insane thinking the the government was going to come and take my shit. Holy hell, what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes you more mobile. Yeah, I know, without all that shit to carry around with you everywhere. Ooh, house, dog, yard furniture. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you you guys have yard furniture? Wow, you have really stepped it up, haven't you? Yeah, her family loves us. It is really, they come over Saturday for, uh, Friday, they come, Friday, yesterday. They come over for a bar, um, for food and, you know, spend the day and have fun. Cool. And they brought us a big table for the backyard. Oh, how cool. They are a gift-bearing motherfucking people these days, I'm telling you. Damn. At least the ones I meet are. Well, cool. Yeah. yeah. They got, you know, they come over to have dinner and they bring they bring a... a they bring the table patty. for you to have dinner off of. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wanted to have it in the yard today and you didn't have a patio table, so we brought one. <laughs> and can we just leave it here? I don't want to take it home with me. <laughs> Wow. But I draw the line. I make them take their cars home at night. Uh, well, yeah, because neither one of you guys drive. Well, well, that ain't the point. It ain't about the not driving. It's about the not um, having a vehicle to drive. I, I don't pursue it. I won't take advantage of it coming my way anymore. Ah. Yeah, I, I don't want to drive any fucking more. So... I'm I'm getting my way, but it doesn't look like it. If you were looking on my life as an outsider and you didn't know me at all, you'd think, wow, that old man's nuts. But I'm the guy that walks to the store thinking, oh, man, I don't have a car to drive and lock shit and doors and get gas and oil and fix and all that bullshit or put in the shop or whatever the fuck you got to go through. 
I don't got all those problems, you know. Yeah, you and just got to walk to the some, store. And, and if something gets my attention, I want to stop and look at it. I'm not going to cause a, a big wreck doing it. Ah, true. I have to stop. Mm-hmm. Now, I might people might go, "Hey, that guy's just stopping, standing there, staring at shit." <laughs> but that's not going to cause a wreck. See? No, they'll just go, no. "Hey, look, Jesus stopped." <laughs> <laughs> I got to admit, that was funny. Cause, <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. Well, uh, <laughs> the timing of it. Because, yeah, you know, to be having a joke about, you know, well, we're, the sky is blue. And, hey, look at that. <laughs> 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 Here he comes now. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't buy into all that religion stuff. The, you know, virgin birth and the, the invisible bull guy in the sky that's looking down on you with his little charts and graphs and shit and <laughs> knows every fucking thing about you and all that crap. Why? Why? Look, look at the results of life and you tell me that holds up. You're crazy. And living for an afterlife? For fuck's sake. I you know. got a now life to live. What the fuck fun is it sitting around in this life, depriving yourself of all the shit that life's got to offer, because the one after this is going to be so much better? Yeah, what? because someone else uh, told you that hasn't been there yet, but they told you that yeah. that's the way it is. Wow. I know. Got it's government, pay. only with ami ami ami's. Government, <laughs> education, and freaking religion are all tied at the fucking hip. They work hand in hand to keep us ignorant mm-hmm okay that's the truth of it i don't see i don't see a great development around me i think people are still nailing and fucking hammering shit together and gluing it together then they're they're not they're not where we could be we should have grown beyond this by now yeah should have and the tech Technology that's available and the things that they claim that they can do and all they ever do is fuck us up with it, they should be stopped. But the support is for them to continue. Yeah, and do you do you remember when you were a kid, you know, seeing stuff like before movies or whatever, the home of tomorrow and all of the way cool inventions that they had for the home of tomorrow, you know, like the mm-hmm. disappearing fridge and all that other cool shit where is all that stuff it's too expensive for us to uh, actually utilize it if you're not living on the seven eight figured um plane you can't have them they're there they're they're there i guarantee you they're there it's just we are not privy to that knowledge because we can't afford to pay for it yeah but most of the cost of that kind of stuff is the grease and palms and and uh, buying people aside, off, so... All that aside, keeping it out of the public domain is the goal. They don't want us to have knowledge and, and be comfortable. They want us to live like this. This is their goal for us. Oh, yeah. And people are pleased with it. Well, I've got a job. Okay, slave. What? Well, do you like your job all the time? You really, you're going to tell me every fucking time you go there, it's because you want to? Even my wife's not going to try to con me with that shit. Mm. See? Because there's sometimes responsibility to the job makes it she has to go to the city to deal with certain things. When she would rather stay home and do it, but because it involves other people, yeah. she cannot do that. Yeah. So. If, even as nice as Cirque is, I got to call bullshit on that. I love my job stuff. Because you might love what you do, but there's parts of it that you could do without. Oh, yes. And that's, the, that's where I draw the slavery thing. Go, wait a minute. If I'm free, why do I got to go there and do that so I can eat? Well, you got to pay your way. You know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Wait a minute. I thought we had natural rights on this planet. Yeah, but not to anything that's going to sustain you. You only have natural rights to shit that doesn't fucking matter, like freedom of speech. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, wait a minute. Strike that one. That one's been booked. (laughs) Okay, I'm going to change the subject on you. Good. Because I just just checked uh, Lisa B. shared something over on Fakeybook. Ooh, Lisa B. on Fakebook. Hello, Lisa B. Um, You chakra shaker, you. (laughs) I know she is a chakra shaker. 
Mm. Uh, say that three times fast. In any case, she posted a thing about <laughs> Colby's crazy winds last night, which, yeah, we had that here as well because we're just south of Colby. Um, they had 90 mile per hour winds last night that hit Colby. They didn't get the rain that we got, though, apparently, because it was blowing dust mm. through there. But, yeah, 90 mile, and, yeah, it's no wonder I got more branches down. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least you're not down, so. That's true. Go. That's true. I'll take property damage over physical damage any time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You can always fix the building or let it fall or something, but if you break an arm or get your head cracked, that's serious. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But wow. Look on the bright side of life. Huh? Always <laughs> look on the bright <laughs> side of life. Hi, Monty Python. <laughs> I know. It sounds ridiculous because, you know, when you're not in, in trauma, but when you're in trauma, if you can, can maintain any kind of, like, self-control at all, try. Yeah. You know, it helps you. To stay in in tune, because I think that the the system is designed to knock us out of tune, whatever little bit of tune we are in, so that we're constantly so fucking chaotic we don't even know what we're doing. Oh yeah. Fight with the wife about the color blue on that wall. She doesn't want it blue. Well, why fight? Just paint the fucking wall blue for her. What's the big deal? <laughs> but I want it green. You know, and these. I, it was a bad example, but th these are the, the kinds of things that were really uh, pushed on us. Yep. Through the yep. media and advertising. And be better than that next guy or gal and use our product. Mm -hmm. Well, be better than, be the same as everybody and don't use the product. Whoa, that's no fun. Be the same? I'm exceptional. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Well, I'm special. I used to be exceptional. Ah. Now, I'm, I'm not exceptional anymore. I, I retired from being exceptional. Really? You know You're how? not the exception to the rule? No, uh, my ball hair turns gray, so I oh. guess I'm not as exceptional as I thought. <laughs> and we go back to the... See, and you keep accusing me of being the one that goes there. The, you convinced me the world runs on boobs and ball hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced. You don't have to sell me anymore. <laughs> the proof is in the pudding, and the pudding was yogurt. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> it wasn't pudding after all. It was yogurt that they called pudding, and you weren't going to touch it, so you believed it was pudding. <laughs> Not touching that. Taste! No! It's <laughs> pudding. What's that? <laughs> yogurt. That's why they call it yogurt. Yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> Culture. Wow. Well, we're going to fuck oral sex up on this show for a while, aren't we? <laughs> hey, people, guess what they did this week. <laughs> so are we get, are we got somebody coming on? We got five to go, baby. I know. We got anybody coming on after us to improve the... Uh, RLM listeners uh, schedule <laughs> <laughs> not directly after us but in a couple oh. hours we got Kira coming on with the bridge and then Kira after Kira the I do believe JJ's is going to be on with some awesome Scottish, Scottish tunage or tunage Scottish coming tunage. out of Scotland however you want to put oh. that yeah, and uh, then uh, this evening if Bo Diddy is around I think he's going to be doing some bodacious tunage Bo Diddy I know. Then tomorrow oh, uh, at noon Eastern time or 11 o'clock my time or 10 o'clock Grimmy's time is uh, Grimmy's going to pop on and he's going to do some Grimmie! crazy blues music leading you into Hal Anthony where he's going to take y'all behind the woodshed and open up a can of whoop ass on your ass. So there. And then yeah. tomorrow night is Gary Ellen Gigi's Boo with The Road Less Traveled. If they are on, because this is the a holiday road weekend road. after all, so. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Mm. yeah, we're a tough act to follow, though, Mary. I know. That's why you they know. gave us a two-hour gap so people can, you know, like run around and get all that dorky out of them and then come back <laughs> and go, okay. No, so they got enough time to drive to the store to re-up on their meds. Oh, well, <laughs> or that too. That too. Yeah. <laughs> You never anyway, know. I 
I don't think I convinced Chloe about the bank thing. She really needs to, you know, expand your horizons there, little Miss Chloe. You know, if I was going to lie to you about something, there'd be something in it for me to lie to you about. There's no benefit in telling another person that the money system we use is a fraud, and I have proof and can show you. Yeah. It really it doesn't help anything because then you got two people at the end going, "Wow, we got fucked like this all this time." <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yes, indeed. They get you with your own consent. And you go, "Hey, sign me up. I want some of that." But hey, did you know that Snopes, you know, the do-all, be-all, end-all of debunkers out there on the oh. interwebs, they yeah. they said that cancer links to mm. Monsatan is no, yeah. that's, that's no. And then come to find out they got money from them. Do you know yeah. who Snopes is? No. It's a liberal no. couple out in California with a cat. Oh, okay. Well... If you do a little research into your uh, remedies, you'll trip over borax eventually. Yeah, I got some of that. B O R A X. Uh huh. Just like it sounds. Uh huh. Google it. I'm oh, not no. gonna I'm not gonna answer everything in two seconds here on the end of the show. No. No, but I've got saying. some borax. I've also got some baking soda. Mm. Wow, you're a winner. Yeah, and some yep. apple cider vinegar too. Yeah, but do you got any avocado to go with your uh, with your yogurt? No, no. That'd be a fun gag: is throw some avocado on it and go, "Wow, what have you been doing?" <laughs> <laughs> that looks that looks like you need medical attention. <laughs> that would definitely and be a gag moment, I think. And stuff. <laughs> and stuff. I don't know. I don't want. I don't want to tell you how to live in your relationship, but. You all got a pretty good idea how I live in mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor, poor Cirque. She takes such a, she, but she makes the best coffee. So I guess eh, a little joking around, a little praise on the coffee, it balances out. Yeah. Well, guess what? We're at the end. Yay! We survived another, hey, we're at the end too. We've got another year of this shit coming up. I know, cool. We've been do we've got like twelve listeners. Sweet. Yeah. Hey, okay. I'm I'm amazed we got twelve. Cool. Well you got anything to say before I shut her down? Oh I don't know. I usually say something boring like, um keep your pants up, your skirt down and walk home in a group. Yup. Yep. And y'all have an absolutely awesome weekend. <laughs> <laughs> with Donald the Duck. And uh, I guess mm. we will catch you later. I know I'm going to go and enjoy uh, my weekend. 